Today I'm going crop fishing. My setup is a simple marabou pink and white crop jig with the float. And the, how I do this is cast out. You twitch a few times. As you twitch, that jig is going to be bouncing. I just had a little bump. You gotta keep that jig moving. You have to. Once it rests for a couple minutes, that bobber's gotta go up and down. Oh, oh I just missed one. Let's put that back over there again because usually they will hit again. Usually. Oh, there he goes. Oh, come on. Spit it out. Oh man, they got me loaded in that area right there. Let's try again. <laughs> Unbelievable. Let's try again. They're hit. I, I just hooked that one. There we go. That's how we do it this time. Not too bad. Hand size. I'll put this one on the stringer. I think got pretty crappy so far. Ain't too bad. I was out here a couple of days ago going for them and I was absolutely catching slabs. I'm talking 15 inches, 14 inches. I was catching absolute slabs. Oh, there we go again. This one feels a little bigger. And it's so important to have an ultralight rod for crappie because their nickname is a paper mouth. And uh, if you use like a medium heavy, you're just going to rip that hook right out of their mouth so let's try this again i go for three for three try to go in the same area obviously it seems like they're loaded right there 
So why not? You gotta keep that jig moving. Yep. There he goes. There we go. Three for three. And they fight so good on an ultralight rod. That's a pretty good slab right there. These marabou jigs are absolutely phenomenal for crappie. Um, excellent. Act and I mean absolutely excellent eating. Crappie are probably one of my all-time favorites. Perch is up there with mine. Well, definitely walleye. You can't knock a walleye out. But for panfish, man, crappie is absolutely... Oh, I missed them. They, they got to be loaded right there. I mean loaded. As you see, I'm casting right near shore. Super important around this time of the year. As it gets later, you're definitely going to want to fish above the weeds. Um, but there's really no weed vegetation right now. So, uh, and I'll, I'll be doing some summer crappie fishing in my kayak this year. And like I said, these marabou jigs are absolutely phenomenal because you get so much action if you work them right that float is critical to keep it up. See, one just hit it, but it rolls up my bobber all the way. I should have set that hook. Yeah, but if you have never gone crappie fishing, you definitely got to try it. This is early spring in May, beginning of May. And uh, there we go. Oh, I missed him. I don't know if you guys can see that bobber go down or not. But, uh, I sure can. I think I should have brought some more battery because this is continuously going, my video. But you got to keep that jig moving. So important. And a lot of times, color is a big factor. Some of my favorite colors are pink and white. Complete all sartreuse. You can't beat a sartreuse. Sartreuse is phenomenal. There we go. And these little guys for our little panfish. They are awesome. That's a little chunker right there. He's a little fatty. Let me uh, do this.
I'm probably going to definitely come here for crappie tomorrow. And I just started, as you can tell. And I'm putting a hurt on them so quick. And tomorrow's supposed to be even nicer. Tomorrow? Oh, man. And I think I'm going to have to bring a couple batteries with me tomorrow. Now watch I come here tomorrow. There, there goes the bobber or float. Now watch I come here tomorrow when I have more time. There we go. That feels like a really nice crappie. This might even be a bass. If this is a crappie, it's a yeah, it's a nice one. Rule of thumb on crappie is if they're bigger than your hand. Well, I got big, very big hands, but uh, if they're bigger than your hand, it's pretty good flayable, you know. Um, but you gotta go. Get yourself an ultralight. There's multiple techniques for crappie you can use. But uh, the reason why I put the stringer on the in the lower jaw instead of a gill plate is it keeps them alive. And I want them to be as fresh as possible. So when I eat them, they're fresh. So, oh, there we go. Oh, missed them. Yeah, they got to be loaded in there right now. I mean, as soon as it hits the water. But usually a good crappie day is like this. Um, usually a good crappie day is like this. Sometimes you cannot keep that jig in the water long but it's important to have a good float and you got to continuously oh, I don't know how that happened all right I'm back Let's see, I set the hook pretty hard on this one. I hope I don't lose it. Now oh, he's hooked good. He actually swallowed that one. Yep, he's hooked good. Trying to get that jig out of there. These marabou jigs are so good and they just dance in the water. They dance so good. So, let's see. Ain't too bad so far. And definitely say I'm having a crappy day. <sighs> Trying to get out there a little further. I don't have too much long to fish because it's gotta go to work tomorrow. That dreaded word, but we all gotta do it. But if you've never tried crappie ever in your life, it is a must.
They are an excellent panfish. I would definitely recommend it to anybody. Unfortunately out here, you can't get it in grocery stores, you cannot get it in restaurants, so you have to go out and catch them yourself. So, that's kind of sucky thing. So I catch them myself and eat them. that one try always try not to set the hook very hard because you will just rip that hook right out but if you have never been crappie fishing There's so many different baits out there you can use. I mean, you can use minnows. You can use crappie jigs. They have so many different types of crappie jigs. Countless types. So, but everybody has their favorites. Mine is the marabou. Just on the action alone is why I like them. I like to antagonize my fish to strike so I like to make them mad that's why I like these marabous if I hook one out there up oh, there goes my bobber same area. That's a good thing. With light tackle, light pound test, you can cast a mile. The lighter the diameter you have, you can actually cast further with the right gear. Let's uh, try to cast back there. Oh, there we go. That's where I wanted it the second time. And there goes my flow. There we go. Feels like a better crappie. He's running pretty good. He's way out there. Not a bad size. Definitely an eater. I like when they swallow them, when you're actually keeping them. You definitely have to have enough for a meal for me to keep them. I won't keep one or two. There is no way I would do that. But I got a small meal right here, which I'm not going to complain about. A 
where we live, we are allowed to only keep 25. Never go over your limit, because it's not worth it. And there goes my float again. Oh, man, that was a good, that was a good hit too. But it was very awkward. I didn't have my line mended right, and I would have, I would have. There we go. There we go. Man, they fight so good on this ultralight gear. Oh, rip it out. It happens. They don't call them the paper mouth for nothing. I mean, I would recommend an ultra ultralight, but if you do get something bigger, you do want something that has a little bit more gear, I mean, a little bit more strength. So that's why I do use an ultralight, because if I get a bass or a pike or, oh, there we go. Nope, he got off. They are definitely sort striking today. That is for sure. But it's all right. Can't be choosy. I got quite a few right now. I'll be coming back out here tomorrow for crappie. As the sun goes down, I missed missed that one too. Man, that was a good hit. He's hard taking that. He's hard running with that float. And usually when they do, when, usually when they start running with it and going pretty quick, usually you got them. But that one I missed. Oh, no. Missed that one too. And they're definitely short striking it. They're trying to get it. But it's all right. As soon as it hit the water, There he goes. That's definitely a short strike. Try to antagonize him. Yeah, he is definitely short. That might be a gill. No, that one, that one might have been a crappie right there. I will definitely be doing more crappie videos. Oh. 
you got to love those short strikes. I mean, these Marilbu jigs are very good. And they're not very super aggressive today. Which they will be very soon, I'm hoping. <laughs> really do. It just makes things a lot easier. And the reason why they're not very aggressive is because the water is so cold still. guys can actually see the float how it's acting but you can definitely tell that they're very short strikes and I don't want to set the hook I'm getting hits every single time but they're not committing Try that again. Trying to cast as far as I can so I can just cover more water. Well, there we go. But the further you cast, the harder the hook set will be. This one feels good. He just got me in the weeds. He might get off on this one. That's a good thing about having waders. If it just happens, you can get them. I see the crappie. He's definitely in the weeds. He might get off though. There we go. It's not a bad crappie. I always try to make my, all my videos as educational as possible so you can learn maybe something new I'm hoping in the next couple days these fish will be a little bit more aggressive but I know I'm going to have to leave in a few because it's getting late. Oop. I don't like that cast. I'm going to recast. Well, look at that. I got me a stick fish. All right. That's a little better. Not exactly where I wanted it, but it's close enough. Here goes my float. There we go. This one feels like a really nice crappie. Try to keep my rod to the side so he not to get off. There we go.
I'm gonna say one more. Then I gotta go, because I gotta clean these fish and go to bed. But I will definitely be doing more crappie videos. I had to do some maintenance on my, my rod. I got pretty tangled up there. Sorry about that. So, it's, uh, I might have to go a little deeper. Let's see. But crappie are absolutely phenomenal eating. Um, they're one of my favorite panfish next to perch and bluegill. I've been waiting quite a bit for the crappie run to start. And uh, I mean, I've been doing here hit and miss here and there. Let's see, almost. He came near it, but. You gotta keep on moving that float. Okay, so you really don't want you really don't want that jig to stop. Let me, uh, in every, in my opinion, depending every inch counts because they can be so. See, as soon as it hit the water, float went down. But not, they're not fully committing, so you really got to get their attention. all over here oh missed them you will definitely miss a lot when they're short striking I try to do so many different presentations on so many different species of fish. From lake sturgeon to crappie, bluegill, giant bass, smallmouth, largemouth, muskie. There we go. Nice little black crappie. I should have brought definitely more batteries, and this one was not even at a hundred percent. I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not doing so. But uh, I'll probably do another crappie video tomorrow. And come on, that one was a short strike. Trying to get that crappie's attention. A lot of times when the water is super cold they will short strike when water warms up they're just they hit it so hard and run with it so hard and that time 
didn't even barely went down. Water's very cold right now. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe because I give all kinds of tips for so many different species of fish. I definitely have a very good video coming up for bass. Very, very educational. Um, it's going to be interesting. So that should be hopefully in the next, hopefully in the next couple days. He might be running with it. No. A lot of times when that float goes absolute slack, a lot of times they are running up with it. I'm only using four pound test. A lot of people say, what about if you get a big bass? You can tire out any fish on any pound test, but you just gotta play them right. I mean, it's a little challenging with light tackle, but it can be done. Come on, Crappy. Let's, uh, let's end this video for a quick second. I gotta do something real quick. I need to come out. I might change color. I'm not sure. This jig is pretty tore up. So I'm going to change jigs. But I will be right back. Not too bad. And I'm sure my GoPro battery is almost dead. Oh, see, the wind took that one. I'm going to just get one more crappie. Hopefully it's a big female. Oh. They're hitting it every time. There we go. The last fish of the day. And the thing is, I don't know if you can see this on the video, and I didn't set that hook hard. That jig is almost out of its mouth, and I didn't even set it hard. That's why they call my paper mouth. That's why I also say an ultralight rod at maximum. But if you can get an ultra, ultra, ultra light, is actually better. Um, 
so you don't rip their mouth when you hook them not a bad not a bad catch for I don't know maybe an hour but you guys don't look, forget to like and subscribe there will be more crappie days I promise you that I'm gonna probably come back and do some more video in tomorrow but uh cannot pass up crappie fishing once the opportunity arises well you guys take care don't forget to like and subscribe let's see how many i have here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i can't complain about that so hopefully tomorrow i can get my limit but you guys take care hopefully see you guys soon or on the water you guys take care and see you guys soon